Now, finally, let me show you more tools to uh, work together and build something online. First, I will show you a simple a free, and free tool called Google Jamboard and uh, Google Documents, how we use them in, uh, in, uh, in this setting. And then I will show you the best one that I know is a rising star uh, of uh, this new online world together with Zoom. And it's quite interesting. You can do quite a lot in a team. So I will show you what it can do in a very short, uh, short demo. So let's look together at Google Jamboard. It's an app included in Google Workspace, but you can access it for free as well when you have a Google account. Google also have a hardware device called Google Jamboard, but this is uh, not what I will be talking about. So this is a file in Google Jamboard. It can be accessed to other people if you might invite them and you can collaborate on that easily. Uh, you can just like add some uh, basic element like uh, on a real uh, whiteboard, like a sticky note, for example. Hello, everyone. That's my sticky note. I can choose my color, of course. And I can uh, play around it. You know, I can uh, also ask other people to join more. And uh, this is how I can use it. Of course, I can use some other elements, like uh, I can add pictures, uh, I can add uh, some shapes, I guess, and some uh, some text, like uh, brain, brain writing session. Let's do it like that. So I really like it because you can share uh, you can share a virtual whiteboard with your participants of your training. You can actually have a more screens if you have, uh, so you can have like a several pages if you want, like on a flip chart, for example. So uh, if you would like to invite uh, people to co cooperate with you, you can just click the share button and uh, then you can invite specific people or what I do for, uh, for my uh, online trainings and workshops, I uh, change the restrictions. So anyone with the link like that, anyone with the link can edit and I copy the link like that and then I distribute it to the participants of my workshop. Uh, of course, in that case, it's uh, whoever has the link can edit it. So this is just for like a short term uh, workshop style uh, uh, working with uh, and which you later on uh, export maybe as a PDF or something. Uh, I like using uh, Google Jamboard a lot during trainings, you know, maybe to, uh, to facilitate or break down or cluster any problem. And I also like it because it's uh, very simple to use. It doesn't have a lot of features and you can use it very easily and you don't spend time on trainings, uh, training people how to use the product. Other thing I do uh, in Google is uh, very often for brain writing, for example, using sticky notes uh, does not add any value. So what I do very often, I just like create a new file in my drive, just like an empty Google document. And uh, what I do is I uh, share it once again, let's, may, uh, let's say, I, I call it a flip chart so that people can imagine. And once again, I changed it so that uh, anyone with the link can edit. This is important because we don't lose time in our workshop to, uh, uh, with uh, signing in or training people how to do it. So uh, I can post a question, for example, for, for uh, brain writing and then ask people you know, to, to edit and uh, add more ideas. This is uh, very effective and fast. And the good news is uh, you can work with the data later on with some other workshop. So this is my favorite way how to do brain writing in uh, Google Jamboard or just a Google document. So this is mirror.com, the best whiteboard you can find online. It's great for uh, cooperation and for virtual teams in general. So it's really, really amazing. A lot of uh, people, a lot of companies use it. It has like 10 times more features than uh, Google Jamboard. Uh, like it has a video call included. You know, you can brainstorm, you can uh, discuss, you can come on, comment on uh, prototypes or proposals. Uh, you can do uh, all kinds of uh, cool things that you need for uh, discovery workshops. This is an empty board in Miro. 
uh, let me add a picture there for example i can uh, drag and drop a picture or a document a pdf whatever you like so this is a picture of a storyboard that we did before on a workshop and i would like to comment on it so i can put a sticky note here and say like uh, that is cool uh, and i can put uh, yet another sticky note uh, here for example change that for example and uh, i can add some relation between those things so it really has like a plenty of uh, features that you can uh, that you can use you can uh, comment you can mention you can really collaborate uh, virtually you can add some other cool stuff like for example uh, a mind map okay let me put it here so let's say project ideas and put some smart ideas let's move it and idea one two three so as you can see uh, this board is infinite so you can zoom in and out and you can use as much space as you need uh, you can freehand draw uh, with some cool effects like for example if you draw a square like that you can convert it to a really nice drawing so uh, very good for team collaboration. If you do it live in workshops, you can make a video call as well directly. You don't have to use Zoom or any other platforms. Uh, there are some other uh, cool features, like for example, you can uh, uh, you can you will see the cursors of your collaborators where you are, so you can show everybody what you're talking about. Or you can also uh, I like this feature bring everybody to me. Uh, that means if people are working on different parts of the document and you as a facilitator would like to put attention maybe on like that steps, you know how to change that. So I would click on bring uh, everybody to me and everybody's uh, screens will zoom to that uh, position where we can discuss it together. So there's plenty of options. It's a little bit advanced you know, at the moment. So mo mostly uh, startup teams uh, use it, but I believe it will have a widespread adoptions and a lot of other tools like that will uh, emerge and uh, uh, will be available for your use. So if you like new things and if your team likes to, likes to be fully digital and really like to uh, uh, enjoy and utilize all what's available, use mirror.com.